Hello everyone, this is Dr. Costa. Hope you are doing well. Many of you know that besides being a medical doctor, I am also a biostatistician and an epidemiologist. I perform statistical analysis for medical research projects. So here I would show you how do I perform statistical analysis in SPSS. This is obviously not SPSS program. This is an Excel data sheet and an associate professor of infectious disease from kingdom of Saudi Arabia gave me this data sheet to analyze it and produce some statistically significant results so that she can publish it in her next research paper basically she is targeting a high level journal so here i am going to check this data set at first then i am going to correct the errors and manage the missing data and next i would run some analysis and then i would create relevant charts and graphs finally i would write the result and statistical analysis section for her so at first i would take this data set into spss for this i can simply select the entire data set and then click ctrl plus c and then ctrl plus v in spss and it would copy everything in spss so here you can see the same data set inside the spss and here i have created different variable names for each of the variable or each of the columns i have also added a serial column so that i can easily organize the data in the data set for example if i want to see how many of the patients had diabetes mellitus then i can simply sort it in ascending order and here i can see these patients did not have diabetes mellitus so 18 of them did not have diabetes I can easily do that and since i have created a serial column i can now sort this one in ascending order and it would reorder the entire data set like the original order i have also recorded some variables for example here in the complications column we have only four data and rest of the cells are empty which means these cases did not have any complications so i recorded this variable into a new variable and here i have just given two attributes for this variable complication yes and complication no i have also done the same for mortality here i made the mortality variables yes and no so that i can compare between these two groups those who died and those who did not die in terms of other variables for example among the males or among the females how many percentages of the cases died is there any statistically significant difference or not if you are completely new to spss and you don't know how to create and modify these variables then you can visit this link this is a spss course created by me which is suitable for the beginners but you don't have to take this course because the first video introduction to spss interface is free for you if you watch this video then you can easily learn how to modify the variables in spss before starting the analysis for this data set i would like to introduce you to this data set so that you can understand the variables and figure out what i am trying to do here so this is a data set of a total of 54 cases and all of these cases were admitted to the hospital for group b streptococcus septicemia so they had group b streptococcus in their bloods now this is the serial number of the patients these are the medical record number which means the unique identity number of each of the patients these are the names of the patients here you can see the relevant departments where the patients were admitted er department medical floor micu surgical floor etc here you can see the gender of the patients the age of the patients in er 
doa means date of their admission dod means date of their discharge and los means length of hospital stays in days the do first bc is the date of first blood culture taken this is the first negative blood culture so normally we take several blood cultures until the culture becomes negative and in between the positive and negative blood cultures we always give antibiotic therapy to those patients who have sepsis and sometimes antibiotic therapy is continued for several days after first negative blood culture so these are the sources of initial infection everyone has group b streptococcus septicemia but this person had it from their urinary tract that's why uti is written here and this person had from surgical site infection that's why it is written sti here anyway these are the comorbid factors diabetes mellitus hypertension renal impairment heart disease chronic liver disease malignancy and immunosuppression they received so these complications are yes no variables and this column shows the antibiotic use type of antibiotics different patients have received this column shows a yes no variable if they have received beta lactam antibiotic as their first antibiotic then it would be yes otherwise the answer would be no this is the first antibiotic as vancomycin if it is the first antibiotic then the answer would be yes otherwise no similarly this one is for the other antibiotic this is the allergy we can see that only one case had antibiotic allergy case 31 who had allergy to vancomycin and this one is the duration of antibiotic therapy and here we can see the complications i have recorded into yes no variables and mortality data i have also recorded it into yes no variable and finally please ignore the last column this was given in the excel data sheet but it did not create any sense so i would not include this column in the data analysis now i would start the analysis part here i would like to observe the frequencies and percentages at first so under analyze descriptive statistics and then frequencies here i would try to find out some frequencies and percentages for important categorical variables for example sex and um, also i need to know the frequencies and percentages of each of the comorbid factors these are also important antibiotic use first antibiotic of choice allergy history and obviously the record variables for complication and mortality did i miss anything yes i missed the loci or location so i would add this one here also so i would drag this variable to a upper position and now under the statistics i don't have to do anything because these are all categorical variables i can create charts for example bar charts and i can create chart values according to the percentages then press on continue and ok here you can see the spss output window and it is showing us that we have total of 54 cases and these are their location distribution for example in a er department 25 cases were admitted which comprises of 46.3 percent this table shows the sex distribution of the patients most of them were females 57.4 percent this table shows their diabetes mellitus status 66.7 percent which means two-thirds of the patients had diabetes hypertension was present in 48.1 percent of the cases similarly we can see the frequency distribution of other comorbid factors here we can see the frequency distribution of antibiotic use the frequency distribution of beta lactic acid or beta lactam vancomycin and other antibiotics as initial treatment 
then we can see that only one case or 1.9 percent of the cases had allergy to antibiotics and four cases had complications 10 unfortunate cases died here we can see the same data presented in bar charts for example this one is showing their location here we can see the most of them were in er department here it is showing their sex distribution mainly everything here is presented in bar charts as well everything is self-explanatory here and we have the frequencies and percentages for all of our important categorical variables now we also have some numeric variables in our data set for example the duration of antibiotic therapy and the length of hospital stay so the data are here in the form of numbers so we cannot present the frequencies and percentages for these variables so for these variables i would go to analyze descriptive statistics and then frequencies and i can reset this dialog box and then i would take the length of stay and duration in days these two variables in variable box and then click on the statistics i need mean median standard deviation minimum and maximum values for these two variables now i would click on continue and ok now we can see that our mean length of hospital stay was 17.9 days the standard deviation is plus minus 17.22 the median is 14 days the duration of antibiotic therapy was 13 the median duration and 15.49 days for the mean duration and the standard deviation is 16.58 so we can present this data in our data set now i would also check if these two variables are normally distributed or non-normally distributed because normal distribution is a prerequisite for many parametric tests to check the distribution i would click on analyze then descriptive statistics then explore here i would take these two variables i mean the length of hospital stay and duration in days so these two variables to dependent list here i would select descriptives and i can also check if there is any outliers the plots can be stem and leaf histogram this one is very important normality plots with tests because if i check this box then it would do two tests one is shapiro wilk test and another one is kolmogorov smirnov tests these tests statistically measures the numeric variables for the normality now i would click on the continue and ok here we can see the results and it is showing us that the kolmogorov and smirnov test is showing a statistically significant result and again shapiro wilk test is also showing a statistically significant results which is less than 0 0.050 if these results are less than 0 0.050 then we would say the data is not normally distributed here we can also see a non-normal distribution in the histogram a normal distribution should be bell-shaped this is no way a bell-shaped data and here we can also see that the dots or data points are not exactly following this diagonal line so this data is not normally distributed here we can see that we have skewed values or i mean outliers in the data set so these two variables are not normally distributed now what we can do is we can exclude some of the outliers from our data set so let's go back to our data set and check if there is any data entry error so in the length of stay column we can sort it in ascending order we can see that there is a zero value i mean zero days length of stay in the hospital because this case was not admitted 
so we would exclude this one we would only check for those who were admitted and for the maximum length of stay this patient had a length of stay of 95 days which is too much i mean very few patients stay for that long in the hospital so i would also exclude this one and next for the duration of antibiotic therapy these zeros should be deleted because nobody receives antibiotics for zero days and again i would delete this one so i would not include this case in the analysis now let's check for the same test so under explore everything was previously set now i would just click on the ok button now it is showing us that we still have a significant result the distribution is non-normal you can see it is skewed towards the left for the length of stay in the hospital and the distribution is also non-normal for duration in days which means the duration of antibiotic therapy for the cases so i think we cannot make it a normal distribution because most of the patients were admitted to the hospital for around 10 days and most of the patients have received antibiotic therapy for around 10 days or 15 days because in reality for septicemia we do not treat the patients for 60 days or 50 days we generally treat the patients for 10 days or 14 days or at max three weeks four weeks not more than that and very few patients are treated for less than three days or less than five days so this distribution would never be a normal distribution so we need to do non-parametric tests for this data set in general parametric tests are considered to be more valuable than non-parametric tests so this is one of the limitations of this study another limitation is we only have 54 cases if we could have more than 100 cases then it would have been a stronger study now i would check if there is any correlation between age of the patients their length of hospital stay and duration of antibiotic therapy so under analyze i would go to correlate then by variate here i would take these three variables age length of stay and duration in days of antibiotic therapy to this box and here i would choose spearman correlation we cannot do pearson correlation because pearson is a parametric correlation test and the test of significance would be two tailed under options i would do nothing and then click on ok so here we can see that the age is obviously correlated with age perfectly a correlation coefficient is one but we are interested in the correlation between age and length of hospital stay here we can see the significance test is 0.963 which is more than 0 0.5 0 0.05 which means this is an insignificant correlation again the age is insignificantly correlated with the duration of stay here we can find a significant correlation between length of hospital stay and duration of the antibiotic therapy it is quite understandable if someone stays in the hospital for a prolonged period of time then he or she would probably be also treated with antibiotic for a prolonged period of time this is quite obvious and we can easily guess it so this correlation even if it is a statistically significant one is not very valuable so the correlation test proved nothing special now i would try to see the association between the sex of the patients and their complications and mortality so i would go to analyze descriptive statistics then cross steps here i would take the sex in the rows box and the 
recorded variables for complications and mortality in the columns box under exact i would do nothing under statistics i can select chi square then i can also select these two check boxes risk ratio kappa and nothing else continue under sales i would see the observed and expected values row column total then continue then okay here you can see all the significant values or p values of different tests like chi square test fisher's exact test even the likelihood ratio continuity correction everything is showing a non-significant result i mean the p value is more than point 050 so there is no statistically significant association between sex and complications again for sex and mortality we see insignificant results so the gender of the cases are not associated with their mortality or development of any sort of complications but somehow i need to find out a statistically significant result otherwise this study would not be published so next thing i'm going to do is to check if there is any difference between males and females in terms of length of stay and antibiotic treatment duration so i would go to transform and then record into same variables here i would take the sex variable in the variables box and under this button i would click here and write female the female should be 2 and male would be 1 so now i would click on continue and okay now i can see that all males became one and all females became two so here i can change the string variable to numeric form numeric variable and under values i can again write here one is male and two is female so now if i click on this button I can see their numeric values and also the levels of these values. This recording was important because I want to man Whitney U test. Man Whitney U test is a non parametric alternative of independent sample t test where we can compare the numeric variables, for example, length of hospital stay between two categorical variables i mean between males and females so i would go to analyze then non-parametric tests then legacy dialogues here we would choose this one independent samples here i would take the sex in grouping variable now the grouping i did earlier would be used here i would write one the group one is male which means one the group two is female which means two so i have now denoted the groups now i would take the length of hospital stay and duration of antibiotic therapy to the test variable list under exact i need to do nothing under options i can see the descriptives click on continue the man whitney is already check marked so i would click on ok here I can see the length of hospital stay and duration of antibiotic therapy in mean values and standard deviations and in this table we can see that actually the mean difference between males and females is not statistically significant because these are the p values for these two variables and the p values are more than 0 0.050 which means the test result showed insignificant results so males and females stayed in the hospital and received the antibiotic therapy for statistically similar duration of time so far we didn't get any important statistically significant results so now i would compare these 
comorbid factors with mortality and complications so let's go to analyze then again descriptive statistics and cross steps now i would take these complications i mean dm htn renal failure heart disease cld and malignancy to this column this box and i would take the mortality and complications to this box and click on ok everything was set before so click on ok and now i can see a lot of results the first one is the association between diabetes and complications here we can see no statistical significant result diabetes and mortality again no statistical significant result hypertension and complications not associated hypertension and mortality not significantly associated renal impairment and complication not significantly associated all p values are more than 050 renal impairment and mortality again no this is significantly associated renal impairment was associated with mortality so here we got a significant fisher's exact test and also a significant pearson chi square test so we can present this value as our significant test result at least we got something significant those who had renal impairment at higher percentage of death again heart disease and complications were not statistically significantly associated the heart disease and mortality was again significantly associated so renal disease and heart disease are significantly associated with mortality cld and complication not associated cld and mortality not associated malignancy not associated malignancy and mortality is again not associated malignancy and mortality should have been associated anyway so we got two important findings here those who had renal impairment and those who had heart diseases had higher percentage of deaths or in other words deaths in group b streptococcus septicemia patients were significantly associated with renal disease and heart disease now i would do the same thing with other variables to see if we can get more significant results so now i would check the association between the location i mean where the patients were admitted in the hospital and complications and mortality i would also include the first antibiotic use beta lactic acid vancomycin and others in the analysis and click on ok so between the location and complications not significant i can go through this analysis quite fast because i have done data analysis for more than 500 research projects so here the likelihood ratio is significant so location and mortality here non-significant 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 basically we only got one significant test results the location and mortality and nothing else now we have to find out the cases from which department had highest percentage of mortality to do so we would go to data then split file and we would split the data set according to the location click on ok and then we go 
we would go to analyze descriptive and frequencies here we can reset it and take the complications and moderate variables in this box and please ok now we can see that the percentage of mortality was the highest in SICU here we can see 66% of the cases died and lowest in surgery floor here no cases died and again for complications the highest complications rate was seen in the surgery floor and basically in medical floor MIC and SICU nobody had complications these data are not very valuable because we only have a few cases so i think these results are not very valuable but yes I, we got something statistically significant so far i have done a lot of analysis the next thing i would like to check is is there any relationship between the type of antibiotic used and length of hospital stay and duration of hospital stay I would do this analysis by using Kruskal Wallis H test. Here we can see in this column we have many attributes. So I need to reduce the number of attributes. We have patients who received ampicillin, then patients who received septraxone. Some patients did not receive any antibiotic at all. We only have one observation for clindamycin and only have one case for penicillin G and two cases for vancomycin so let's make these rare cases other cases so now we only have ampicillin group septraxone group none group and other group so we have four groups now i would compare the duration of antibiotic treatment and length of stay between these four groups I would need to record this variable before performing a Kruskal Wallis H test. So under transform, I would go to record into same variables. Here I would reset this dialog box and take the antibiotic use variable to the variables box. Here I would write ampicillin and give it a value of one. Then safe track zone value 2 then none value 3 and then other value 4 now i would click on continue and ok now everything has been transformed here again i would make it a numeric variable and then denote these variables in the values labels dialog box one is ampicillin two is ceftriaxone three is none and four is others now we can toggle between the numeric and text values by using this button now i would go to transform and sorry analyze and then non-parametric legacy dialogues this time i would select k independent samples and then i would take antibiotic use variable in the grouping variable box here the minimum was one and maximum was four and then i would take these two variables length of hospital stay and duration in in the test variable list box the cruise wallis h is already selected i would just click on ok here you can see that the length of hospital stay was related to the antibiotic use now we would find out the length of hospital stay i mean the mean and median length of hospital stay for each of the antibiotic user groups so we would go to the data then split file here we would split file according to the antibiotic users 
then click on ok then under analyze we ju would just see the means and median values for the length of hospital stay and duration under statistics we would select mean median and standard deviation click on ok here we can see the length of hospital day if we uh, hospital stay if we consider the median values the median value was highest among those who received septraxone and other antibiotics the lowest those who received one none which means these patients were discharged without giving any antibiotic therapy but for those who received antibiotics the median length of hospital stay was the lowest for ampicillin for septraxone it is more than double it suggests for low degree septicemia we can easily treat these patients with ampicillin and they require less length of hospital stay but for higher level of septicemia septraxone can be used and it is used for a prolonged period of time so this could be one reason for this statistically significant difference between septraxone and ampicillin whatever the reason was septraxone users stayed in the hospital for the most prolonged period of time among the antibiotic users and ampicillin users stayed for the lowest duration of time so now if we want to find out the factors responsible for predicting mortality and complications i think we can do a binary logistic regression analysis but since we only have 54 cases i don't believe that the logistic regressions would provide us any valuable output but still we would perform it we would go to analyze then regression then binary logistic here we can take our this value complications in the dependent and the covariates can be age then sex and we can also add length of hospital stay duration of antibiotic therapy and let's add other vari variables as well the categorical variables were sex also was, was a categorical variables others were already selected continue save probabilities group group membership cooks under options classification plot hosmer Lemon show goodness of fit correlations and obviously confidence interval continue okay now you can see that we have all significant values and this type of ridiculous odds ratios and no upper bound scores which means we do not have enough data to run a binary logistic regression analysis okay so last thing let's try this with less variables so under analyze regression and binary logistic let's only let's exclude the comorbid factors let's do it with only a each sex length of stay and duration continue okay this time we got some usable odds ratio and confidence interval but we didn't get any significant p-values so these variables age sex length of hospital stay and duration of antibiotic therapy were not factors predictive of development of complications 
this model predicted 91.5 percent so this was a good model lastly we would do another analysis but this time we would use mortality as our dependent variable instead of complications so under regression binary logistic we would replace this one with mortality let's see what happens again we got a good overall percentage of prediction here we also did not get any significant test result so this study could not identify any factors predictive of development of complications or mortality by far the most important findings we got from this study was the association between mortality and renal impairment again the association between heart disease and renal impairment please don't take my words as the treatments because this is according to a small data set of a single medical center the data set only consists of 54 subjects and the results of this analysis is still not published in any journal so the purpose of this video is to show how to perform statistical analysis it's not to tell you how to treat different types of patients so my data analysis is now finished i would write the result and also present the data in charts and tables to finish this project if you need data analysis help from me then you can visit this link this link is also given in the description box i am generally a very busy person but if i have time then i would help you thank you for watching this video